We have contained this. We have contained this. I won't say airtight, but pretty close to airtight. Look, I'm not the health expert, but on the, uh, on the so-called spike, I spoke to our health experts at some length last evening. They are saying there is no second spike. Let me repeat that. There is no second spike. There is no emergency. There is no second wave. What? What? Wait. Doctor. What? Dr. Kudlow. Uh, Have another? Uh, remember? Okay. My God. Dr. What's going on? Dr. Kudlow, uh, the man who told us in that first clip back in, I think it was, was it March? February, late February, it was early March? February 25th. February, yeah. that, that the coronavirus uh, was contained. That was nearly a month before the nationwide shutdown. And of course, Kellyanne Conway got very angry at a CBS reporter for suggesting that the coronavirus had not been contained. 114,000 deaths later, 114,000 deaths after Larry Kudlow said the coronavirus was contained. He was speaking again on Friday. Uh, saying there are no spikes, that, as health officials warned, that the coronavirus cases are actually climbing in 22 states. Now, part of that, let us hope, is because testing has increased. Uh, but hospitalizations uh, are increasing in many states, and concerns of health care officials are rising in, in many, many states. Welcome back to Morning Joe. It is Monday, June 15th. Still with us, we have White House reporter for the Associated Press, Jonathan Lemire. NBC's Casey Hunt is still with us, and Princeton professor at Princeton University, Eddie Glaude, Jr. Joining the conversation, MSNBC contributor Mike Barnacle, and co-chair of Color of Change, a racial justice organization, Heather McGee joins us this hour. Great to have you all. Jonathan Lemire, it Ooh. appears that at least for Larry Kudlow and some people at the White House, uh, the defining narrative uh, still is nothing. It's Chief Wiggum, nothing to see here. Oh, Lord. Move along, move along. Yeah, I was going to go with the Frank Drebin uh, reference from The Naked Gun with the fireworks factory exploding behind him and him saying nothing to see here. Um, but you're, you're right, and I think this is showing the singular focus from this White House to try to zero in on the economy. Uh, we saw the last couple of weeks, of course, that jobs report uh, was better than expected. We saw the victory lap, perhaps premature victory lap. The White House took from that. That's been the consistent from the president's messaging and his top aides uh, that look, the, the nation is starting to reopen, the economy is starting to pick back up. Uh, you know, the president saying, I built this economy the first time, and we can set aside, of course, that a lot of that he inherited from President Obama. But the case he's making is that I'm the one who can build it back up again after the pandemic. But they seem to be ignoring uh, the growing surge in coronavirus cases across this country in places that perhaps weren't as hit as hard uh, a few months ago. You know, we're certainly seeing major reductions in the New York City area, which is great. That was the hot spot last time, the primary hot spot. But we're seeing the Sun Belt, states like South Carolina, Georgia, Florida has started to pick up. Uh, certainly Arizona, Texas, they're, they're in a, the city of Houston in particular has signaled that they're on the verge of an emergency in terms of, of infections there in hospital space. We're seeing the same issue out in Arizona. We're seeing health officials in Oklahoma tell President Trump not to come this weekend for his rally, uh, that they say they're honored, they'd be honored to have the president arrive in Oklahoma, but not right now, not as infections are rising. But the White House, there's no national message right now. The coronavirus task force has not publicly had a briefing in weeks. They're only meeting privately once or twice a week now, as opposed to before, where mm. it was daily. It's too early to know whether or not we're seeing a rise, whether we will see a rise of infections from these mass protests that have obviously swept the country in the last couple of weeks. Right. The, the rise we're seeing right now appears to be from the reopening. Uh, but And that's a message that the, the White House doesn't want to seem to touch. Yeah, so sure. Jonathan, briefly, has the has the White House considered possibly doing an outdoor rally? I mean, there there seems to be obviously we're very concerned. Got to be a way to do it, and we have been concerned about the rallies in the streets as far the as protests. the health care, the protests in the streets, and the and the health care consequences of those protests. But they're out in the streets. They're outside. Some are socially uh, distancing. Some are socially distancing, and a lot of people are wearing masks. Any. Um, has there been any thought of possibly doing what he did in Mobile, Alabama at the beginning of his 2016 campaign and holding an event outdoors? 
So, Joe, we've done a lot of reporting on the backstory of this rally. First of all, just to be clear, campaign officials very much knew that it was <laughs> Juneteenth when they selected that date. Uh, they, they expected some blowback. Uh, they were caught off guard by the intensity of it. The president eventually bowed to pressure and moved it from the 19th to the 20th, so it's Saturday. In terms of venue, no, not yet. Uh, it's an indoor arena. It's downtown. Uh, it, is an, it must be noted, an arena that has canceled all of his events in June and in July because of the pandemic, because of health concerns. Yet they are reopening for this one night for this rally. The campaign has said they'll work yeah. with state health officials in terms of what sort of guidelines to implement. They haven't revealed those yet. We don't know if there's going to be social distancing. We don't know if there'll be masks. But the early sense is those things will not be required. People who were attending yeah. did have to sign a waiver to say they would not sue uh, the campaign were they to get sick. There are there are outdoor venues in Tulsa. It's they could handle this. There's one a new one that just opened up. It's a possibility they'll look to it. But at least right now mm -hmm. they have not. The president wants to have as big a rally yeah. as possible indoors.